Hello friends, in this video we will understand analog divider using log anti-log amplifier. So basically analog divider is a circuit in which the output voltage is proportional to the division of input voltages. Say if we are having input voltages V1 and V2 then output voltage VO will be directly proportional to V1 upon V2 or V2 upon V1. Various techniques are used for the division and uh, the first one will be using log anti log amplifier and the second one is using multiplier. In this video I am going to tell you about the using log anti log amplifier and in our next video we will see analog divider using multiplier. So it is only related with using log anti log amplifier. So this is the block diagram for the analog divider here you can see here that it is a log amplifier and they are connected to we are using two log amplifiers and they are further connected to a subtractor circuit with gain equal to one its gain is actually only one and further it is connected to anti-logarithmic amplifier so Basically, its concept is that if we are applying V1 voltage to the log amplifier, it will have log of V1 as output. Similarly, for V2 input, log amplifier will have log of V2 output with respect to some constant K. Now, the difference amplifier will produce the output proportional to this V2 minus v1 so here it will be log of v2 minus log v1 and therefore we know that log a minus log b is log a upon b similarly here it will be log v2 upon v1 and further anti log amplifier will remove this log sign and we will get v2 upon v1 here and uh, this concept is used for analog divider we will see it its explanation in details so before knowing the analog divider you should know log and anti-log amplifier for that you can refer the videos regarding uh, log amplifier and anti-log amplifier in description or you can click here on the i button so basically a log amplifier is an inverting amplifier in which the feedback resistance is replaced by diode and if the resistance and diode are interchanged then anti-log amplifier will be there the output voltage for log amplifier vo equals to minus eta vt log of v in upon i0 r and for anti-log amplifier v0 equals to minus i0 r anti-log of v in upon eta vt the details of all the things are explained in our previous videos regarding log and anti-log amplifier so Considering the same diagram again, here we have to find the output voltage V01 which is the output of log amplifier similarly V02. So to find out V01, it's, uh, it is nothing but a log amplifier and its output voltage is given by this formula. Now this is our input voltage V in. So in this particular case, here V1 is the input voltage therefore for V01, we will just replace this V in with V1. Similarly, to find out V02, we should replace this V in with V2. So, this will be the equation for V02. Now, they are connected to the subtractor and with gain 1. The subtractor is having gain equals to 1. Therefore, it will have only the difference between these two input voltages so its output will be v2 minus v1 and if we put that is uh, that is uh, v03 here the output of uh, subtractor is v03 and it will be equals to v02 minus v01 now putting the values here the negative times negative sign will get converted into positive that's why this sign is positive here now you can uh, you can observe here that this eta vt is common here so if we put it common 
then we will get it as eta vt log of v1 it has positive sign that's why we have kept here as a first term that is log of v1 upon i0 r minus log of v2 upon i0 r now you can observe here that uh, log a minus log b that is log a minus log b is equal to log of a upon b so using same same concept this i0 will get cancelled and we will get log of v1 upon i0 r minus log of v2 upon i0 r as log of v1 upon v2 now this is v03 and we have to find vo that is the output voltage and output voltage is nothing but the output of this anti log amplifier and in our and input for the anti log amplifier is this v03 and therefore the equation for anti log amplifier it is minus i0 r anti log of this is the term which will keep here so eta vt log of v1 upon v2 so instead of v in we are keeping this term if this is equation 1 we will directly put here this equation upon eta vt now this eta vt and this eta vt will get cancelled and further anti log of log will also get cancelled therefore output voltage equation for the anti log ampli for a divider circuit is v o equals to minus i0 r v1 upon v2 where v1 and v2 are input voltages i0 is the saturation current and r is the resistance and thus we can observe here that these two are the constants therefore vo that is output voltage will be directly proportional to v1 upon v2 that is the ratio of input voltages therefore this circuit is known as divider there are some drawbacks of this circuit as we are using too many blocks means we are using log amplifier anti log amplifier and a difference amplifier circuit so as we are using too many blocks so uh, this is one of the drawback for divider circuit then it is difficult to match the characteristic we have to choose the diode such that its uh, eta vt then uh, i0 all these characteristics should be same so it is difficult to match such characteristics then only positive voltages should be applied so as you can observe here that if you change this v1 and v2 sign definitely this sign will change and further it will not work as a divider circuit so only positive voltages should be applied and that's why we can say that it has only one quadrant operation that is positive positive that is first quadrant so in next video we will see a divider circuit using multiplier thank you